All aboard, it's Jang here with a probably really quick review of a very simple Playmobil set. It's the Red Dragon. That's the official name of the set, and that's exactly what you get when you buy it. It's just this. This is the entire set. Now, this was a direct service range item, so it had to be purchased directly from Playmobil itself, off Playmobil.us for me in the United States, and it cost $23. Now, even if you haven't seen this exact, exact dragon before from Playmobil, you may recognize it. Uh, they've had a green version of this on the market for quite some time, and I believe they've done other ones in the past. But I even reviewed the green version of this in a set that was called The Great Dragon from back in 2015. And it was the same thing with just different colors. I mean, it's, it's the exact same thing with just different colors. So no changes there, so I won't spend a whole lot of time, but in case you haven't seen that video or in case this is new, I did want to cover this because I did want to get it because I still find these to be interesting. And I feel like dragons and animals and accessories and figures, all sorts of things from Playmobil are collectible. This is a nice looking one with the color and they do have the little bit of air texture that's built into the, the plastic itself, so it makes it not look too toyish and plasticky. These have a good amount of articulation with the front legs being able to move up and down. The front claw also opens and closes or moves up and down like that, which is a pretty useful thing. Like you can have them climbing on something or you can just have the legs back like this when it's flying around. The rears are a little bit more limited because they just rotate forward and back, but it's still not bad for a flying pose. You can put them back like that. and It's not bad. And they give you these these toes, which are actually dual molded in there. Uh, all the white is actually a soft material, so it gives it a little bit of a little bit of grip on the ground. It doesn't slide around too easily. And then the whole head can go up quite a bit and down a fair amount so it'll work in a standing pose on the ground uh, all the way up and it can be looking down or it can be in kind of a swooping pose if you want to have it like that that's pretty cool and of course the mouth opens up and you get that really really bright orange color inside of there the tail just swivels around you can bring it straight down and with the, the spikes on top and bottom looks correct when you turn it a full 180 degrees, you can also give it this kind of serpentine look from the top, and that's most useful when it's on the ground as well, but I think it looks cool. And then finally, the wings uh, have two axes of movement each, so you can rotate kind of these shoulder joints around, and you can flap the wings up and down. So it pretty much does everything that you want a dragon to do, I would say, uh, with the only possible exception being with the, the rear legs being a little bit limited but that's just it uh, the only thing that I don't like about this and I don't like it at all is the price at $23 I actually feel like this is not a great deal oh I should show you what this looks like in comparison to a Playmo figure just to make sure you have a good understanding of its its size it's pretty decent in size uh, would have been nice if they had included some way with these to have a figure actually ride it uh, I guess you can just use a rubber band that'll work. Just put a rubber band around the body and around the legs of your figure. But uh, the price doesn't feel good by today's standards, especially. Uh, especially when you look at another set that Playmo is selling right now. Uh, the Friendly Dragon with Baby set. I'll put a picture of that up in the video there. That set is $25. Comes with a dragon that doesn't have front arms. So it's technically a, a wyvern. But then it also has the baby. It has the same size wings for the sake of scale, so it's a very similar size thing. But then it has all this other stuff. You know, it has the, the extra animals, it has the figure, it has the background stuff in it. So I think that this red dragon just by itself ends up not being a, a great deal by today's standards. But still looks very good and is very collectible. Looks really cool like that with the wings back a little bit. And maybe it would have been cool if the wings could also rotate forward and back here so you could really spread them out a little bit more. But 
I don't know, I think it's okay. Also, these are flexible, so no worries about them breaking over time and stuff. But that's just that. It's just a dragon, a pretty cool one, but a little bit expensive in my personal opinion. But this was quick, so I will bring you another video very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.